Hey guys, JP here. Sorry for the re-upload, but I made a couple of mistakes first time round. I decided to re-record and edit some of the narration to save any confusion later on down the line. Subject being the water tank. The video was filmed 12 months ago, just after I completed the build. I've made a few changes since then, and plan to make an updated van tour in the future. First of all, I can't express the importance of protecting equipment and tools enough. Additional contents insurance, security alarm systems, and a clever head on your shoulders all need to be factored into the yearly financial outgoings and considerations into running a valeting and detailing business. I bought the van over three years ago, the rear cabin was already ply lined and carpeted, however when I set about the build process, every last bit was removed. I then built a setup that suited me and the shape of the van. I will quickly mention I have no previous carpentry and very little DIY experience, so this type of build was completely new to me, and although it is a little rough around the edges, I think I've done a pretty good job. Everywhere has been ply lined and carpeted, including the side walls, rubber flooring, insulation and waterproofing. I've made purpose built storage shelves and units, the 400 litre water tank all secured in and various hooks and fittings. I'll get to the design and purpose for each area as well as taking a closer look whilst loading everything into the back of the van. Like I mentioned earlier, this video was filmed 12 months ago and I've already made various changes and additions since. I'm planning a few more changes to the build this year so I'll make an updated van setup video in the future. A quick run through of some of the stuff you see in front of me that needs to be loaded into the van. A George pneumatic wet and dry vacuum, 50 meter extension lead, 3 buckets, wash, rinse and wheels, Rupes polishing bag, G-Technic kit bag, Swiss Vax cooler bag, a wheelie stool, a kneeling mat, Ford generator, TFR sprayer, a hoover extension and a caravan brush. Also a table loaded with various products. And as you can see, quite a range of various products. Since filming, I have whittled out many of these products because a lot of them are more than capable of doing the same job. So for the sake of filming, let's load all these 100 odd products into the back of the van. The top storage shelf on the left hand side holds some of the more particular products including polishes, compounds and a few different sealants. The rest of the shelf is taken up with various detailers dressings, protectors and delicate interior detailers. The second shelf holds the larger bottles including handy sized wash and wax, wheel cleaner and enzyme cleaner. The other bottles contain spray wax, tyre dressing, all purpose cleaner, leather cleaner, plastic and vinyl dressings, window cleaner, iron X, detail spray, degreaser, upholstery cleaner and the snake foam lamps. The shelving area to the right holds the long hoover extension and a long reach cleaning brush and by the way the brush is only ever used on conservatories and caravan roofs. The containment area I've built over the right rear wheel arch is for a 5 litre tub of snow foam, bottles of fallout remover, tar and glue remover, bug and insect remover, wheel cleaner and a mesto foamer. Onto the shelving unit in the middle of the van and starting with the lowest drawer containing plush microfibers, various applicators and microfiber accessories and a few spare wash mitts and drying towels. The next drawer up is specifically for drying towels including the waffle weave and plush microfiber towels. The next two smaller drawers are for exterior cloths on the left and interior cloths on the right. Finally the top two drawers and the one on the left holds wash mitts and on the right holds various applicators for polishing, waxing and various dressings. The last set of drawers in the van fit into the lower part of the unit. From left to right we have hoover attachments and interior crevice tools. In the middle are various interior brushes for upholstery, fabric, leather and a few more crevice tools. The drawer on the right contains air fresheners, clay bars, detail swabs, wire wall and magic sponges. These drawers fit into the shelving unit on the left, followed with the two wash and rinse buckets on the right. If you are wondering why there is aluminium flooring, it's there because this is where the generator lives. Because the generator weighs 50 kilograms, it's a bit on the heavy side to lift in and out of the van each time it's used. The generator is a petrol engine and gets quite hot. Health and safety and all that, this should hopefully disperse heat away from the wooden shelving unit and rubber flooring. Next we have a set of hooks on the left hand side at the back of the van to hold various brushes. Top shelf are interior brushes, towards the middle are wheel brushes and at the bottom are exterior brushes and wheel and tyre dressing brushes. When planning the design my objective was to maximise floor space leaving as much room for the rest of the detailing gear. I spent a few hours planning the design and taking measurements and I simply couldn't come up with a more effective design. A full detailing load looks something like this, although still a few other items to be put in the back including the floor standing light units. 
A valeting load is a little less cluttered and a more organised feel. Round to the side loading door and this area is purely for the water tank and pressure washer. The water tank is a 250 litre upright baffled tank and the pressure washer is a Kranzel K7. To watch these bits of equipment in action and also a bit of extra information, professional mobile detailing setup video is linked in the description. For anybody interested, the total cost of the build came in just under 400 Great British Pounds. This included all the plywood, carpet, rubber flooring, aluminium, screws, hooks, insulation, fabric glue, a drill, attachments for the drill, a heat gun, sanding paper and paint. It was very time consuming to build and at times very frustrating, but working out the back of the van now makes me appreciate the work I put into it and not forgetting how organised and effective the new setup is. Before the build, I used to chuck everything in the back. Although neatly, it was often at times a pain to find things and dig them out when needed. Everything now has its own place and is enjoyable to work out of. So that pretty much finishes the van tour. I'm going to save showing you any of the newly updated additions so I can feature them in a separate video in the future. I've only made a few minor adjustments, although the biggest difference is a 25% reduction of products. So everything now is as I would say, a little bit more organised. I hope you enjoyed the van tour, don't forget to subscribe for more detailing videos, smash that like button and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.